watching NBC6 News today. Well, welcome back. Well, I am here with Dr. Adam Perret from UVH. Thank you so much for being with us. Hi, you're welcome. So we are talking about the 4th of July firework uh, and sound safety, essentially, with our pets. Absolutely. So we don't know why this happens right. in pets, but there are a percentage of pets that are very anxious around noise, and yeah. this can be thunderstorms, this can be fireworks, um, and we forget about it till it's too late often. Mm -hmm. um, so there are some things that we need to be thinking about. Um, and the first reason, the real why behind this is that Pets can escape from things like yes. this. They can have that much anxiety and they can hurt themselves. And we see pets every time this time of year that either get out and get lost. Um, so it's very important to have your pet microchipped. Yeah. Um, that's a really important thing. Um, and the other thing is they hurt themselves. And so I've seen pets go over fences, go through fences, go through plate glass windows, which obviously that's, that's not a good situation. Right. And it's because of their responding to this this fear, essentially. So there's a way to be proactive to prevent this from happening. Yeah, so we don't know why this happens. And we think that some pets, maybe they're exposed to loud noises with uh, negative implications as a, as a young puppy. Um, but a lot of times we don't know. And sometimes it comes on in the middle of their life, and we don't know why right. that's happening. Um, so you want to try to do some things to be proactive with this and desensitizing to them, making loud noises when they're eating, things like that, um, but also distracting them. So when you know there's a thunderstorm coming through whenever you know that there are going to be fireworks like this time of year and really it's not just the fourth of july it's the days surrounding yes, right there's right. fireworks um we want to give them safe places whatever their safe place is yes. whether that's in a kennel in some instances with you in your lap um, the other thing that you can do is, is comforting things for them and so we know that dogs like people whenever you put pressure all around their body it's very calming and so there are some commercial products that are called thunder shirts yeah. um, that are kind of cool it's kind of like a straight jacket for dogs not not really but what it's doing is putting pressure on their body um, and it's calming and it doesn't work for all dogs but for some dogs it's really cool they, they immediately calm down um, they're also pheromones. So okay. pheromones are things that uh, dogs use naturally to uh, kind of figure out the world. Um, and there's one that's called Adaptil for dogs, and it's from mother's milk, believe it or not. Okay. Um, and so it's a calming thing. And again, there are, there are wipes, there are collars um, that you can use for this. And it doesn't work for every dog, but for those that it does, it's really cool. Um, and then lastly, um, get with your veterinarian. If this is a problem and this is a proven problem, there are calming medications that can be used at these times as well. And something that I think, you you know, it's important to talk about is microchipping. And this isn't just for a thunderstorm or something. This is for constant, because you never know what situation they could be in when they, they could get lost. Yeah, so microchipping is a super easy thing. Um, a microchip is about the, the size of a grain of rice, um, and it's totally inert. Um, and it's basically like getting an injection, getting right. a shot. Um, and it is a universal code for how to get your animal back to yourself. Um, and it's always, we always rejoice at our clinic whenever we see a dog that's lost that has a microchip because we're, those people are, are, are coming to get their loved one, you know, yes. very soon afterwards because we know who they are and we can identify the animal. So you never know microchipping. You hope you never need to use it, but right. um, whenever right. you do, um, it's it's a great thing. And it's it's not as expensive as I see. My, my dog is microchipped and at first I thought this was going to be a massive expense and it was not. And so it's a really great way to keep your dog safe as well as everything else that we've talked about as we lead into sort of our thunderstorm season and of course the 4th of July with fireworks. We will be posting the blog that um, they have written on our website after the show. Just head on over to arclatexhomepage.com. Dr. Ferre, thanks for being with us this morning. My pleasure. All right, stay with us. We've got more news and weather headed your way after the break.